Some of you have really heavy pockets of rain out there as we speak. Let's get straight to first alert meteorologist Marlo Branson. After adult business laws have been on the books in Horry County since last September, but have they actually made a difference? Health officials now reporting a possible third case of MERS in the United States. But what is interesting is that this man didn't get sick and was not hospitalized. Now, very important story to talk to you about this morning. We've got new video of Al Qaeda and it shows what looks like the largest and most dangerous gathering of Al Qaeda in years. Years. Now, either the CIA and the Pentagon didn't know about it or it, they couldn't maybe get a drone there in time to strike. This video shows that high ranking leader of Al Qaeda greeting about 100 fighters right out in the open. And folks, that is a very bold move happening today. The head of the Myrtle Beach Area Chamber of Commerce will meet with senators on Capitol Hill to talk about what needs to be done to get more people traveling, not only to the Grand Strand, but the entire country. Brennan Summers is live in Washington, D.C. this morning. And Brennan, why is Brad Dean being called to testify. We've got new details this morning on a mom who led police on a chase with her young child in the car right next to her. Police say they tried to pull over 34 year old Aubrey Coy after she took off with her daughter during a supervised custody visit. They now believe she was on cocaine when she drove off, flipping officers the middle finger and not stopping when officers laid stop sticks down on the ground. She eventually came to a stop in Michigan when those rims literally fell off her car. What's happening today, SCDOT having some big discussions about I-73, and it could end up costing you more down the road. Right, Alex, I got to ask you, though, you know, obviously, Bausch Lindemann jumped in on those incentives that we offered, but are we getting any idea of any other companies that might be on the fence about moving to Horry County yet? The guy with the best glove, Brave shortstop Paul Jana, scooped up the bat, which got loose for a bit. And naturally, the Braves bat boy, get it? Well, he took over from there. Poor kid. Man, he got the ugly job of walking the bat, wrapped in a towel into the dugout, and finally set it free. He's like, hey, wow. I did not sign up for that job. Two Texas boys uh, born as conjoined twins are finally leaving the hospital. Owen and Emmett Izell were successfully separated in a very risky surgery in Dallas last August. Doctors say they're now breathing on their own. They're eating with the help of the feeding tube. And look at a cutie pie. Oh. The next step for them is a rehab facility and their parents are going to learn how to care for them. Now some loose hogs are causing some problems in a town in Illinois. Look at this. Can you imagine being that guy? I mean, terrifying, <laughs> really. The hogs belong to a farmer who apparently keeps them on his free range farm, but police have gotten about 10 complaints just since December. They're showing up at gas stations at Applebee's. You name it, they're there. But Heather, we're not talking about your typical cat nap here, are we? <laughs> oh, definitely not, yeah. David. Yeah, these researchers at Cambridge University found there is nothing <laughs> wrong with an occasional nap in the afternoon. But if you are always tired, and you need to sleep for long periods of time during the day, it actually may be a sign of some larger health issues. Well, Clemson was quick to replenish its depth at quarterback just a few days after dismissing QB Chad Kelly from the team. The Tigers pick up a big time recruit, landing the state's number one quarterback prospect for the class of 2015. Yeah, Renz Kelly Bryan committed to play football for the Tigers. 100% chance of rain tomorrow. I see it. I see your tie. We're trying to bring out the spring, I the tried. happiness, the Easter, and, and it's a, to no avail. It's, it's not going to work. I should have yeah. worn my tie with the umbrellas, but I'm trying to stay positive here this <laughs> we're, Friday We're being afternoon. optimistic here as yeah. much as we can. Yeah. All right, Jamie, thank you for the uh, depressing news. Yeah. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, so right now, 417. The Imagine this, driving off the cliff, landing 80 feet below, and being able to walk away to tell the tale. We got new video this morning, and really, we are talk about the sea to believe this stuff. This is crazy stuff it's here. It's a wild scene on a Boston highway. Yeah. 605 happening now. Recovery efforts are back on for a woman who actually disappeared. This is happening in the icy Chicago River after she and a companion tried to rescue someone else who fell in, apparently for a cell phone. A live cloudy look there in Florence, and guess what? We are not done with the rain just yet. <laughs> the good news is it is going to slow Slowly move out, but here's the deal. When it comes to our morning commute, it's going to be a problem. So we got to bring in our experts to talk about this. You know, the Five Points area near the old pavilion site in Myrtle Beach used to be the place to be seen. Well, now local businesses in that area are putting out all the stops to get back to the glory days. The 501, the northbound winding project, it's now complete. And that extra lane has been added uh, from Tanger Outlets to Gardner Lacey Road. This morning, WMBF News reporter Alex Holly's eye with why some are kind of doubting, though, that that particular issue is, is the solution to everything out there.